If you have a WordPress website and you want to create some amazing looking accordion image gallery, then in this video, I will show you how you can use Gutenberg plugin to create these amazing looking galleries on your website. Now, in order to create this image accordion gallery, we will be using animated service boxes block from the pro version of plus blocks by which you will be able to create some amazing looking galleries like this one or maybe in a different style like this one. And there are so many other options available so that you can create image accordion gallery for your website. So if that sounds interesting and if you want to create this kind of gallery on your site as well by just using Gutenberg blocks, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit from the team Posi Myth and if you want to learn more about such amazing Gutenberg blogs then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload the next video. So here we are in our WordPress setup and if we go in the plugin section and here we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version. And as mentioned before, to create this image accordion gallery, we will be using the animated service boxes, which is part of the pro version of this plugin. So in this example, we are creating a website for an interior decorator. And here if we scroll down, we have created this image accordion gallery. So this will be a showcase of services in form of this gallery. Now let me show you how you can recreate this kind of style. So let's go ahead and edit this same page. And here is the gallery that we have created. Now before we proceed, let me show you how you can take advantage of our ready-made templates. So if you go on the plusblocks.com on the animated service boxes page, and here we have already created various image accordion gallery, which you can easily go ahead and use as it is on your project as well. So let's say you want to include this exact image gallery in your site as well. Then all you have to do is just look for this copy button here. Just click on copy. And then once you are back in the page editor, place your cursor wherever you want to import this image gallery. And then look for this button at the very top. It says plus paste. And as soon as you click on this button, it will import the complete gallery as it is on your website. Now all you have to do is just update the images, text and style and you will be all set to go. So this is how you can easily import any of these designs from our website to yours. Now let me show you how you can create your image accordion gallery from scratch. So once we are back in our page editor, let's go ahead and add a new row here. So we will type in forward slash and then we will type in tp row to insert a new row here and we will use one column layout and let's turn this column to full width and here we will click on this plus icon and then we will search for animated and the first block we see here is the tp animated service boxes and that's the one we need so once we click on here and here we have the first style of this image accordion and here on the right hand side, you can see under main style, right now we have selected image accordion and we have created different videos showing how you can use this animated service boxes to create various sections and pages on your WordPress website. So you can go ahead and watch those videos as well. We will link that in I button above or in the video description below. So now we have selected this main style as image accordion. So here we have three sections, layout, style and advanced. So right now we are under layout and here we have selected our main style as image accordion. And after that, we need to scroll down and select our style of this image accordion. So here we have two different styles. So I prefer this second one. So in this example, we will be using this only. After that, we have the orientation if we want the vertical or the horizontal accordion. So I'll choose vertical and in the active slide, we can make any slide as active. So right now I will leave it to slide one and here we can define the size of the active slide that I will also leave it to default. And after that we have the image size which is right now set to full and here we have an option to display button. If we turn that on, we can link all these images using this read more button here. And after that we can also choose the style of read more button. But I'll prefer the first style so we will go with that. 
After that, we have the service boxes here. So this is the place where we can add or remove all these slides. So right now the first one says marketing. So this is the one here. So you can go ahead and edit the title and you can also add a subtitle here. So let's say for the title, we will enter living room interior. So we will be copying the same text from here and let's copy the second text, which is actually our subtitle. So we will paste the content here and for the description, we will paste this sample content here. And now under feature image section, we will be uploading the image. So let's click on edit and let's choose this image. And after that, we have the button text. So instead of this read more, we can also type in learn more. And once we are done with this first slide, let's go ahead and add the content for the next few slides. So in order to add new slides, you can click on this add item here, or we can just go ahead and duplicate the first one and then add the content here. So let's go ahead and edit the second one. And here we will paste the title and then update the image. And same goes for the third one. We will update the title as well as the image. So now we have added the text as well as the image for this gallery. And if we scroll down, we have an option for layout. And here we can define how the text alignment will be. So we can add the text in center or maybe left or right. You can also select the vertical offset. So if you want it in middle or maybe at the bottom. So I'll prefer on the top. So we will go with that. And below that, you can define the height of this gallery, which I will leave it default. So now we are done with the first section that is layout. Now we will move on to the second tab. Style, where we will do all the styling for this gallery. So the first option here is title typography. So let's go ahead and do that. So once we click on this wrench icon, so we have all the options available that we need to edit the typography of this main title. So let's say we want to make the font size as 35 and maybe we can make it bold. After that, we can also change the color. We can go ahead and choose any color from this color picker or we can just simply type in our color code and the color will be selected. After that, we come down to subtitle. In the same way, we can change the font size and various other elements of typography. And let's go ahead and change the color to white. Same goes with the description. Let's change the color to white. And for button, we will choose maybe black color. And after that, we have option to add space above or below this button here. So right now it's not required. After that, we have the content background. So here we can go ahead and add a background color. So here we will choose the color again. And here we will turn down the opacity a bit. And I think instead of white, we can go ahead and choose black color. So let's turn that to black. So this is how it's going to look. And once we are done with styling, we can go ahead and check out the advanced tab. And here you will find all the things related to spacing and various other advanced effects that you can do here. So we will cover all these advanced features in a dedicated video and we will link that in the i button above and the video description below. So you can learn more about all these advanced feature in free as well as the pro version of this plugin. So right now let's go ahead and click on update page and let's open that in a new tab. And here if we scroll down, this was our reference gallery. And below that, this is the one that we have just created. So this is how easy it is to create some amazing looking image galleries using the animated service boxes from the plus add-ons for Gutenberg plugin. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to learn more about such amazing Gutenberg blocks, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you soon in the next video.